Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. Today we are inside of Photoshop Creative Cloud. I'm going to show you how to create a clipping mask using a couple of images and the type tool. It's pretty beginner stuff, but it's definitely stuff that will help you design your own original content and it's something that you're going to want to learn. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate yourself a couple of images that you would like to use, like a fire image and an ice image. And you can do this by, you know, just going on Google and Google searching for fire images and ice images. Uh, these are the ones that I'm going to use, and I'm going to show you how to create what I created exactly the same way. So let's jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is create a new file. Click on File, New, and you're going to want to set the width to 1920 pixels and the height to 1080 pixels. That's a full HD and the resolution at 72 will be just fine for what we're doing. Click on OK. I've already got my layer set up. Grab a hold of your uh, type tool. Click anywhere on this layer. Set your foreground to white also before you click on this layer. Once you click on the layer, set your pixels, um, the amount of pixels for your text to 600 and just simply type fire. Doesn't really matter where it ends up. We can move it around. Click the little check mark and just kind of position it somewhere around in here. Now we're going to go back to our fire image and we're going to grab a hold of it and we're going to drag it in. On the layer that has your image, you're going to right click. Click on create clipping mask. It's pretty much that simple. I suggest that from here you lock this layer down. Click on this little padlock. That way it doesn't move around on you. Now you can grab a hold of your text and you can move it around to wherever you want to get the desired effect that you're looking for. And then when I created mine, I used a slick chrome style that will give you that kind of bubbly, slicker effect to your text. Go ahead and unlock the layer if you have everything where you want it and click on Merge Visible. You're going to right click on the image layer and click on merge visible. And you don't want to do that until you have everything the way you want it because once you merge it, it's there. You can move this around now as you can see that image layer is gone. It's going to lock it in. So definitely make sure you have your fire the way you want it. Now for right now we can just shut the visibility off to that and grab our type tool again and now let's type ice and let's grab our ice image if your background layer is locked just double left click on it to unlock it click OK now your layer is unlocked let's grab a hold of it and let's drag it into where we're working position this the way that you want it always make sure that your image layer is above your text layer right click Create clipping mask. Lock this layer down. Click on your text layer. Move it to wherever you want it. And for this one, I used the clear gel with drop shadow for the style. Back up here to your image layer. Right click on it and merge visible. Now both of these have been merged together. Go ahead and set the visibility uh, for your fire layer and move this wherever you would like it. And that is how you create a clipping mask using an image and the type tool. And you can do this with any images. You can play around with the font, make it the way you want it, create your own original fire and ice images. But at any rate, at least now you know how to create a clipping mask inside of Photoshop. 
If this tutorial helped you out in any way, please give it a quick thumbs up as it does help me to keep creating tutorials to help you. That wraps it up for this one, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Thanks, guys. Take care.